So believe it or not, I think one of the unfortunate realities in dating is that men and women have lost the art of flirting, all right? A lot of people do not know how to effectively flirt. Now, I think a big reason is because people are more guarded now, there's more pride, there's more fear of rejection at a higher level than it used to be. Um, just various things has contributed to people being more conscious. I think with men, due to the times being a little bit more sensitive to how men talk to women, approach women compared to once upon a time, men have fallen back from it. All that has led to confusion or a, a greater struggle to actually realize when someone is flirting with you, all right? And therefore, being, therefore creating missed opportunities because people aren't sure if this is a sign to move forward. So I figure, well, let's help clear some of this up, at least when it comes to the men flirting with you. Now, if you've watched some of my old videos, you know, I, I've said many times before, I think women really need help when it comes to flirting, and I'm going to do a video on that at some point, but I want to break down some of the signs that the man is flirting with you so that you can, you can be aware of what's going on, and then now you'll know how to react if you want things to move forward. So the first sign that a man is secretly flirting with you is that he's responding to your IG stories. All right, so I figured, listen, we're in the world of social media and Instagram and all this stuff, and some of you may not even have or use an Instagram. So this one may not apply to you, but for those of you who are familiar, you know, on Instagram and on some of these other platforms, you can post what they call stories. And one of the key ways or one of the common ways now men flirt is by responding to your story. That response could be a statement, that response could be just sending you a heart, heart eyes, these are emojis I'm talking about for those who may not be aware, all right? Just any kind of response, it is typically going to be because he's trying to flirt. And here's the reason why replying to IG stories, some of the reasons why it has become so popular. It is one of the most simple and less invasive ways of trying to get the woman's attention, all right? So essentially, sliding in the DMs, well, listen, even though that essentially is the same as sliding in the DMs, but just directly sending a message, a lot of times people's messages don't get read, all right? Men get overlooked. Some of you may have tons of messages in your, your direct messaging box. Right? And so, therefore, a lot of men haven't seen much success. So it makes it easier to just say, okay, let me respond to a story, something that a lot of people are paying attention to. Now, if you are a woman and a man that you find in any way interesting or attractive responds to your story, you need to make sure you respond back, <laughs> okay? Like, don't just look at the story and then wait to see what his next move is. Because what the man is hoping is that you will give him some sign, some kind of green light that says proceed. And all he needs to proceed is at least some kind of response. Now, some people, some women will just like, the, you, you can like that the fact that they respond to your story. You can just like that message, right? And that's cool, that, that can still help progress things, but it's, it's not as direct, it's not as clear to a man that you want him or you are open for him saying more. So actually giving a response, saying thank you, smiling back, whatever the case may be, gives a, a better chance that he's gonna think, okay, maybe I can move forward here. So it, it is one of those common things and beyond stories, just Instagram in, in general. Now, I have to say this before I move on to the next point. This is one of the big reasons why I'm always telling people and women, take your pages off of private, okay? Because, it, and let me be clear, because I understand some of you may have your pages on private for business reasons and things of that nature. But if you want to increase your chances of being able to meet someone, take your page off of private. I think people are underestimating how many individuals may stumble across your page 
want to possibly say something, but your page is private, so they leave it alone. All right. And when I say they want to possibly say something, they, they have may, they may see your avatar, your main profile photo, and think, oh, she's attractive. So they want to go on the page and see if they can gather more information or get get more clarity on you know the woman you are. And when it's private, most people don't want to have to follow just to finally get to see more. Because the messed up thing is if the person fo follows, doesn't like what they see on the page, now they either got to unfollow you, <laughs> which may seem rude, okay? Or they're stuck following someone they're not, no longer interested in. So all that to say, be consider taking your page off of private. I'm telling you, it will or it can open the doors to more opportunities. All right, so let's move things along. A second secret sign that a man is flirting with you, and we're gonna consider that this is a situation where he's already, he has an opportunity to engage with you. So this is in person most of the time, but it can happen online as well. And that second sign is he keeps finding ways to create conversation, all right? So whether that be in person or online, when a man is always trying to stir up conversation with you, he's hoping that he can finally get an opening that says move forward. So he's hoping in casual conversation that there will then be something said, something happens that will say to him, okay, I can really shoot my shot now. Now, I don't want to rule out the possibility that yes, sometimes a man may be making constant conversation because he's a friendly person. That, that can happen. So nothing is 100%. But the reality is that in most cases, men aren't trying to repeatedly make conversation with a woman they don't find attractive, they don't have some level of interest in, okay? And again, it's one of those indirect flirting attempts because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, due to people being so afraid of rejection and not wanting to come off too strong or as some people would say too thirsty, most people take very indirect ways of trying to flirt or trying to open the door to more. And so you have to be mindful of that. So when you start to notice that a man is continuously making that attempt, again, that, that's the cue for you to say to yourself, okay, if I want this man to proceed and really shoot his shot, if I am interested or you know, I'm open to seeing where this can go, I have to give him something to work with at that point. Don't just keep entertaining the conversation because what I've seen happen many times is you'll have this scenario where the guy keeps trying to stir up conversation. The woman entertains the conversation. So to her, it's like, well, I'm giving him the green light by talking to him. But in reality, he doesn't know that's a green light because that might just be you being friendly as far as he's concerned. That's not clear enough, okay? So a quick thing that you can use or a quick thing you can do is when you're having those conversations, give a compliment. Simple as that. A compliment will typically, and let me be more specific, a physical compliment. Now, I'm not saying sexual, <laughs> don't, don't get it wrong, all right? But something about the physical appearance because a, a, com a compliment on physical appearance can communicate attraction. And that's what that man needs to feel confident moving forward that you are attracted to him. You see, if you say something like, oh, you're, you're such a smart guy, that doesn't really say to a man, oh, she's interested. You know what I'm saying? You, you can say that to anyone. But if you say things like, oh, you, re you look really good today or you look really good in that or whatever the case may be, that leans more on, okay, maybe she does find me attractive so, all right, let me see what I can do with this. So just always consider, all right, when you see it happening and you are interested, what can you do to now let him know you are, you're, you're open to entertaining more from him? All right, so now the third secret sign a man is flirting with you is when he's constantly nervous or flustered around you. So. Whether that be the guy who is constantly creating conversation or let's just say it's a coworker, right? And 
whenever you're around this coworker, he, all of a sudden he gets really shy. You know, he's fumbling his words. And this is especially true when this is not his common behavior, which I'll talk a little bit more about a little later on this list. But when you start to see a deviation, and, it, and especially when it's, it's nervousness and being flustered, that is a very strong sign that he's attracted to you. That he, and so he may not be flirting at the moment, so to speak, because he's trying to gather himself, but it does show there is an interest there, okay? And sometimes it is happening when he's trying to flirt because the attempt to flirt makes him nervous, makes him a little scared. Now he's concerned about, is she going to reject me? How is she going to respond to this? And so now this is one of those things where I can't tell you as a woman, like, you need to go out your way to make him feel less nervous. That's really on him to get himself together, so to speak, and, and be more confident in his approach. However, it, I will continue to say that you again have to open the door more. You again have to, again, if you are interested, if you're not, then none of this matters, right? But if you are interested and you notice that, again, just, just be, be, show that you have mutual interests, you know? And I'm going to throw this out there. I am not saying you need to do this. This is totally up to you. I do think in a scenario like this, if you're a woman who's willing to take it a little further yourself, this is where you may say, all right, let me just go ahead and give him my number and see what he wants to do with it. Now, I know some of y'all don't like that <laughs> already shaking your head like mm -mm, we, we don't do that over here. I get it. I understand. But I do think that there's nothing wrong with that. There is a study that shows, I wish I would have read it before I did this video, but I recall the study essentially saying women who are willing to approach men, and please do not confuse approaching with pursuing. Now, I know that we might just be playing with words here, but let me just tell you how I look at it. To me, there's nothing wrong with a woman presenting herself to a man. There's nothing wrong with that woman presenting her interest to that man. There's nothing wrong with that woman, in this instance, giving a man her number. I would not tell a woman to ask a man for his number, but giving it to him and saying, all right, you, if you're interested, let you, the ball's in your court now. Because now he, it still puts it on him to have to pursue. The pursue is the ongoing. This is just the introduction. So to me, a woman being willing to, to handle the introduction, nothing wrong with that. Now, of course, we have to understand that in doing that, it doesn't guarantee you're going to get a phone call. It doesn't guarantee it's going to happen. But I have seen situations, and let's use work again, where women have had crushes at work, and they don't know if the guy's interested. And literally, it can go on for months, even years, where no one is, everyone's afraid to say something, no one's willing to step past the line. So to me, in a, in a situation like that, giving the number would be a way to bring this to a resolution. It would be like, okay, at least by giving him your number, we can put this to rest. Either he's going he's gonna to call and be interested or he's not. That's better than you dwelling on it the whole time, wondering, hoping, what if, when. Now, of course, if you feel spiritually led to do something different or not do anything at all, I'm not going to argue against that. But aside from that, I do think that there's going to be scenarios where it would give you more peace if you just said, all right, let me just do what I got to do, and now it's on him. So going back to the whole pursuing uh, versus approaching, Again, I don't want this ongoing pursuit where you have to be the one calling him, initiating, asking, to go on, asking him to go out, all these type of things. He has to take some initiative, but you taking that first step, nothing wrong with that. Actually, before I move on to the next point, so consider this. Now, I've heard some other, because I don't, I don't want to take credit for making this point. My videographer just reminded me, but I've also heard uh, other dating coaches like Matthew Hussey mentioned it before where back in the days, uh, women used to use the whole handkerchief, handkerchief trick, all right? Where a man passes by, they drop the handkerchief, and that would be their signal to the man. So to me, 
that's what we're talking about as far as giving the number. It's like you are initiating, you are showing the clear sign that, hey, here is interest, here's your opportunity to do something with it. Now, listen, if, if you want to drop a handkerchief, that's cool, but I don't think handkerchiefs work anymore <laughs> in, in today's age. I don't, I don't think it's going to be the same as it used to be. So that's why I think we've kind of evolved to a point where, all right, let's just get right to it. Hey, if you're interested, give me a call. We'll see where this goes. And that's it. And you just kind of move on from there. And if, if it happens, great. And if it doesn't, so be it. That means there's bigger and better things waiting for you. All right, so let's keep this going. So the fourth secret sign that he's flirting with you is that he's giving you compliments. So we talked about earlier you complimenting a man to let him know you are interested. Well, a man complimenting you works the same way. Um, okay, I, something just hit my spirit, so I have to speak on this. I've come across a lot of women who have gotten turned off or they're bothered by the idea of a man being wanting to talk to them because of how they look, because of the physical attraction. I literally had a client one time tell me, Anytime a man approaches her, like she could be in the mall and men are always approaching her. If a man approaches her and, and she knows it's because of how she physically looks, she won't talk to him. Now, I had to say to her, I said, well, this is very uh, counterproductive because, listen, how else is that man supposed to know he's interested? Now, I know a lot of women, they feel like, well, I don't want the man to want me because of how I look. I want him to want me because of who I am. Granted, cool, but he can't see who you are. He can only see how you look first and then learn who you are. And the reality is that looks in most cases does not keep a man there, at least when it comes to a serious relationship, serious, genuine interest. Looks open the door. Your character will decide if they stay, okay? So you should not try to hide yourself. You should not, I don't want you to take issue with a man being attracted to you and that's why he comes to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Because again, men are very physical beings, physical creatures. And yes, beauty is important to us. Attraction is important to us as it is for many women as well. I think we have to, for those of you who struggle with that, you got to start looking at it a different way because that also happens online. I, it reminds me of one time where someone tried to slide in my, not try, they did slide in my DMs, okay? And my, they, did, they did a double negative. They had their page on private and they didn't have a real picture in their profile picture. It was like a cartoon character or something like that. And they tried to ask me out to, to go out to dinner or to, I forgot, exchange number. It was something. And I'm thinking in my head, like, are you crazy? No, I don't. I can't even see who you are. But the women start going on about like, oh, that's, you know, you men and, and you, you know, the way you guys are so hung up on how someone looks. And I'm like, are you, really? Like, but, I, but now when I look back and hearing my client and, and hearing it from multiple other women, I, I, I understand. Not, I don't agree with, but I understand how some women have become so jaded by the idea of, I don't want attention because of how I look. So now they shut that down in many ways. Something else hit my spirit. This is not really about the video, but I have to say it right now. Some women have gotten so jaded and so disgusted by the attention that they get, that they've now, I'm trying to use my words wisely, they try to find ways to diminish their presentation to diminish the attention, all right? And for many women, it started from sexual abuse when they were younger. And I've had different scenarios. I've, I've had some women, and I'm telling you, these are their words. Some women purposely put on excess amount of weight because they felt like that was protection from the attention. All right. It, it would deter more men from coming to them. Um, others have taken other avenues to diminish it. And so I understand the struggle for those who have gone through that level of trauma. But I want to encourage everyone, if, if your struggle with embracing 
how you present yourself and a man being attracted to that, do the work to heal. You know what I'm saying? Address those past issues. Running from it does not help you. And putting yourself out there in a way that diminishes the attention you would get at your, let's say at your potential physically, it's, it's closing the door on many other good opportunities, all right? I want you to live your life to the fullest. I want you to be happy. I want you to be in a healthy place, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, as well as physically. So if your struggle stems from deeper rooted trauma, you know, experiences, disappointments, please, please, please do the healing process. So you know what, I'll check out Love After Heartbreak. You can click the link in my description or in the comments section. It's a book I wrote for men and for women. And it gives you the step-by-step -step on how to heal. So if, even if you can't go to a coach or a counselor to, to go through this process, the book will help you immensely if you do exactly the steps that are laid out in it. So again, you can go to loveafterheartbreak.com. All right, so now we're on the fifth secret way a man showing you that he is flirting with you is when he is constantly trying to impress you. All right. Now, the funny thing or the crazy thing or the unfortunate thing is uh, there's a lot of men who go out of their way to try to brag about themselves, trying to impress you. And though it may be their attempt to flirt and get your attention, I know for a lot of women, it can be a turnoff. Um, it, it doesn't it's not the most effective tool when it comes to flirting. However, it's, we're not discussing what works. We're discussing what it means. And so, yes, when he's trying to tell you about this business he's doing and this money he's making and this thing he accomplished and this weight he benched in the, in the weight room or, or whatever the case may be, right? That's to impress you. And the reality is that when, when a man has interest in a woman, he wants her to, to look upon him with favor. He wants her to view him uh, in high regard. And so he uses these things to, to achieve that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I think that you going back to the guy who may mishandle that and be bragging in a way that kind of can be a turnoff. I think, you know, we sometimes, and I'm just going to say how, what I'm feeling right at the moment. I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but it's going to express what's weighing on me at this very moment. I think sometimes we have to give grace, all right? And I, and I feel we've all done it. We've all maybe saw something that we didn't like and it didn't give like no opportunity to correct it, right? And, and we automatically assume, let's say in this scenario, a man being too bragging too much is, well, he's arrogant. I don't want to, you don't want a guy like that. But he may just be nervous. He may just be overplaying his hand. He may just not understand how to properly present his interests. So I say all that to say, if you are, if you were interested in him, if you found him attractive and he does that, consider, again, I'm not saying I'm right on this one. I'm just telling you what I'm feeling, <laughs> but consider still moving the conversation forward right? And maybe even going out on a date or if, if, it, if it gets to that point and then seeing if this kind of behavior continues, okay? If it does and it's truly just who, his character, then okay, nothing we can do about it. But I think there's a lot of scenarios where, you know, that initial over bragging would stop once he actually got your attention because that's all he was really doing it for. It wasn't because that's who he actually is, all right? Now, again, you a grown woman, you ain't got to entertain any man you don't want to entertain. And if, and if to you that's just a deal breaker, so be it. I just had to throw it out there for you to consider, all right? But let's keep it going. All right, so now we're on number six and the sixth secret sign. He's flirting with you. And this, to me, is a big one. He remembers, he constantly remembers the little things, okay? In all my years of doing this, I've sat down with tons of people, tons of couples, married couples, in the dating phase, whatever. One of the common things, one of the common frustrations women have 
is a man's struggle or inability to pay attention to detail, to remember the little things, to remember specific dates and things of that nature, all right? Typically, when you hear about someone in the relationship forgot the anniversary, typically, not always, typically, it's the man, all right? Well, when it's forgot this special date, typically, it's the man. As men, we are not as in tune, we are not as sharp, all right, as a woman is when it comes to remembering the details. But that's why when a man shows that, it will typically mean he has interest and this is a, a, a subtle or maybe not so subtle way of him flirting because he's making a really strong effort in most cases to remember those things. Like I, I've, I've seen situations where a man barely remembers anyone's birthday, right? Forget his own family's birthday. But this one woman he's really into never forgets it. <laughs> never forgets her, her birthday. Any, any, any day that's important to this woman, he remembers, but he forgets everything else about everyone else, okay? Because he is more emotionally invested. He's making a greater effort because he wants to show her. This kind of ties into trying to impress you. He wants to show that he remembers those things. He's basically conveying to you, you are important to me. And what's important to you is important to me. All right. And hoping that that will gain some favor in your eyes and be able to open a door to potentially more in that situation, in that potential relationship. Um, and I think, I, I, I feel the need to say this, when a man does that, now, if, when we're talking about a man you don't know, or you work with, your friends, whatever, if you're not interested, we're not even going to entertain that dynamic right now. If you are interested or if you are in a relationship with a man who remembers the little things, I implore you to sh always show appreciation in those moments, all right? Do not view it as, well, I remember those, so he, of course he should. Like, don't diminish the value of it. Understand that for most guys, he's, he's really trying to show you he cares, all right? And if you downplay or dismiss it, well, eventually he'll stop paying attention to little things. Because if he feels like this holds no value to you, this doesn't, gain, this doesn't put me in a positive light, well, then why am I going to try to keep remembering every little thing? But when you show him that, that you love that and you appreciate that and, and you are rewarding him with your, your love and positive energy in return and, 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 sh and showing him or doing things that's important to him, it will, it will fuel him to continue to pay attention to those small details when it, when it comes to you. All right, so now we're at number seven. And the seventh sign, secret sign, that he's flirting with you is when he's poking and prodding, trying to find out your relationship status, all right? So again, this, this, this can be done in indirect and direct ways, all right? You may, you may say something like, yeah, I was out, uh, I, was, I went out somewhere the other night. Oh, who'd you go out with? <laughs> now, I don't want to say that that question automatically means the man is trying to find if you got a boyfriend. But what I'm saying is you're going to notice it in multiple ways. They're, they're going to be trying to figure out, okay, is she single? Is she available? If he's not asking you, he might be asking friends of yours. Or because these type of situations happen at work a lot, he might be asking coworkers. But one way or another, he's fishing around trying to get information. All right, because the reality is that a lot of times the man does not know if you are single. And it reminds me of a scenario where there was a woman who, uh, she was a good friend of mine, and we were talking one day, and she said, you know, she really wants a relationship. And I was like, yo, I'm surprised this, that you're saying that. You seem like you, you're living the single life, and you're happy living the single life. Now, mind you, Excuse me. The way that people portray things, this was this is before social media was really big. But with social media today, 
you, you got to be mindful of what you're portraying online because if you portray this, I love my single life, I don't want need any man, well, that's going to make certain men a lot more hesitant to approach you and shoot their shot, so to speak, as what happened to my friend. Because I said to her, I said, oh, I'm surprised. I thought you were living up this single life. And she said, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to enjoy myself, but I don't want to be single. And it turned out, she said, you know, it's, it's funny that you say that because she ran into a guy who told her, I wanted to talk to you, but it looked like you were, you were, you, uh, you weren't interested in, you know, dating or anything like that. So I just left you alone. And she didn't realize what she was giving off that was presenting herself in that way. So be mindful of that. All right. Sometimes people are just making bad assumptions, but just ask yourself, in, if, if there's any areas or places where I'm presenting a certain energy, am I presenting an energy that is open to talking to someone, open to relationships, things of that nature? I'm just going to give you one quick example before we finish this point. You know, if you're at work, and I keep using work, but if you're at work and it's a group of y'all and you're always talking bad about men, well, if I'm a man <laughs> and I have any interest, I'm going to be thinking, nah, let me just leave that alone, right? Because that's going to make you look like you're either not, not willing to, you're not receptive to men right now, you're not interested in relationship, and that's going to discourage the guy who's trying to respect your space. Now, the man who just wants to sleep with you, a lot of these things won't matter to him because he's just focused on getting what he wants to get. But for the guy who actually has genuine interest in a potential relationship, he will be more sensitive to what you are presenting and what energy that you're giving off. So you just want to be mindful of that if you are or you do desire a relationship. All right, so those were seven secret signs, but I'm gonna give you one more as a bonus, all right? And the bonus sign that he is flirting with you is when he's always offering up his assistance. So again, this, this is in line with wanting to impress you, wanting to show you that you're important to him or what's important to you is important to him. And when a man is constantly offering up his assistance, that is typically a sign of interest and it is flirting. Now, what's coming to mind in this scenario is for some of y'all, some of y'all ain't gonna like this, but I gotta say it. <laughs> for some of y'all, that's your male friend. All right, I have to say it. Some of y'all have that male friend and maybe you don't have any interest in him. Maybe you do, I don't know. But I know that there are some of those guys that you call friend who are always there for you. And, listen, and understand, there's a, there's a difference between I'm your boy and when you call on me and need me, I got you. Because I'm very reliable as a friend. Anyone who I'm friends with, female friends, they call me and I'm available. I got them. I'm going to do what I can. That's how I roll, right? But when I'm always offering, when I'm going out of my way, when I am interjecting myself constantly in assisting you, that is usually a sign of interest. I, I, I'm gonna make this story real quick. There was a woman, I know, she was cool with this guy. She actually liked the guy, but she swore the guy did not like her. And, she, and to her defense, she tried to like flirt <clears throat> and put something out there. But he didn't really jump on it for whatever reason. I think he was scared. Either way, as things time went on, he was always offering help. He was always trying to come to her rescue, always being there. And I'm thinking like, nah, this is not normal friend behavior. This, this is a man who likes you. But she was like, no, 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 no. Fast forward, ends up in a relationship. I'm not even going to get the whole story because there's reasons I won't get the whole story. But I'm just going to say it turned out he liked her. He ended up confessing his feelings, all right? So I'm telling you, usually when that man is making that much of an effort, that's what it means. And so with that said, as a woman, if you have male friends like that, and you got to be honest with yourself, you know deep inside they like you, and they are holding on to hope that an opportunity will one day exist, 
you're gonna have to consider walking away from that friendship at some point. I know you don't wanna hear that, but here's the reason why. One, you gotta, it's not your fault that he's hanging around on hope and, and waiting for an opportunity, right? Excuse me. But allowing that situation to go on, at, at the very least, if you're going to continue to be friends, there needs to be more boundaries. There needs to be a level of separation. It can't be this everyday talk, everyday engaging, because you're asking for trouble. And it's not just trouble in the sense of his feelings escalating even more and that making things complicated. It's also... If a man comes into your life, all right, and sees this male friend who acts like this and starts to pick up on something, that can create issues. And some of you as ladies, you know what I'm talking about because it happened to you on the flip side where the man had this female friend that he says, just my friend, but you can sense that this woman has interest. And now that you're in his life, this woman is becoming a bigger problem. It's making you uncomfortable. And you know her intentions aren't purely, purely platonic. So, going back to you and your friend, you got to consider the ramifications of that dynamic. Okay? And it's a tough decision to have to make. But again, maybe it's not just walk away, but at the very least, create some boundaries. Because at the end of the day, we are trying to help you get to the relationship that you truly belong in or achieve the life that you want to live and be happy and be blessed and receive all the great things God has for you. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to watch this one over here on five reasons why men are attracted to women who don't try hard. One of the things that gets misunderstood so much is that women see men and even in some situations, give women a free pass.